Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Happy Sunday. Here's your news report, seamless check update, and seamless package update for Sunday, March the 6th. In today's video, I will be bringing you up to date on the latest stimulus relief news, including the status of the third stimulus check. The House now has to vote on the stimulus bill, but please make sure to watch until the end of this video to learn about how progressives in the House of Representatives could prevent the $1. trillion economic relief package from passing. But before this video starts, the winner of this week's $50 Amazon gift card giveaway is Patty Baker. Congratulations, Miss Baker. I will be giving away another $50 Amazon gift card this coming Friday evening. To enter the giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment below. The Senate is likely to pass this $1.9 trillion stimulus bill, and the president will sign it. Does that do too much or too little, do you think, for people's wallets? It depends whose wealth we're talking about, Andy. Because the truth of the matter is, in my opinion, the America now, the United States, is now made up of the haves and the have-nots. And that isn't distinguished really by $75,000 a year of income or $150,000 for a couple. It's really... It's really all up to what did people do with the money that they had, regardless of how much they were making. Because you had people making $200,000 a year that are in food lines. You had people who are making $40,000 a year that were able to make it because they had an eight to 12 month emergency fund. They were prepared. So I don't know if it's going to do enough for those who have nothing for those who do not even have the perspective of getting their job back, having a career that they know what to do with. So those people, and those are like 10 million of them, it doesn't actually do enough, if you ask me. For others, is it gonna do enough for the schools? Is it gonna do enough for the economy? Uh, that I don't know, but I would not be lowering it if I was the Senate. What do you think people should do with those stimulus checks, Susie? Well, I think they should say them. I know everybody really wants everybody to take those stimulus checks and stimulate the economy. Buy this, buy that. I don't think so. If you don't have it, at least, like I said, an eight to 12 month emergency fund, can you just save the money? Because we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know if COVID's going to surge again. We don't know if those that don't have jobs are going to get their jobs back. So you have to be very careful here right now. I think it's crazy that they are projecting, Andy, and you probably know this, that a good percentage of people are going to put that money in the stock market. It's not money that belongs in the stock market. If you are getting a stimulus check, that means you need the money to survive. You need the money to buy food, to possibly pay rent, to keep your utilities on to put in the stock market. If you're gonna take the money to put in the stock market, in my opinion, you do not need a stimulus check. Some Democrats are suggesting that we have a permanent reoccurring stimulus. Checks just keep on coming until the pandemic passes. Do you think that's a good idea? I would think that's a good idea if we could afford to do that. But we're not the only ones. The American people aren't the only ones that are in such debt. The entire country is in debt. Who is eventually going to pay for all of this money that we're giving out to people that we ourselves don't have? I mean, would we ever say to an individual, go further in debt, take money out of a credit? So Democratic lawmakers were finally able to push President Joe Biden's $1.9 trillion stimulus relief package through the House of Representatives and the Senate, despite Republican opposition. Millions of Americans will finally be receiving their $1,400 third stimulus checks. And luckily, Democrats were able to quickly sort out disagreements and pass the stimulus bill. After the Senate passed its version of President Biden's $1 trillion economic relief package on a party line vote on Saturday, the bill now heads back to the House of Representatives. The House will be voting on the relief bill on Tuesday to approve changes made in the Senate. However, Democratic lawmakers are depending on progressive House Democrats tolerating the revisions made in the Senate. For example, the Senate decided to remove a provision that would raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour. It is very likely that the House will pass the bill, but with a slim Democratic majority. 
Finally, the bill will then move to Joe Biden's desk for his signature. From the White House on Saturday, right after the Senate passed its version of the bill, Biden said that the Senate's passage of the bill is a signal that help is on its way. This democracy can still work, Biden said. Once President Joe Biden signs that into law, millions of Americans will begin to receive their third stimulus checks, as well as extra weekly unemployment benefits. The bill will still provide tax credits for families, put new money toward the federal vaccine rollout, spend $130 billion to get kids back in schools, provide $350 billion to states and cities facing uncertain tax streams during the pandemic, and extend more generous food assistance programs and also help people struggling to pay rent and encourage companies to extend pay sick leave. Republican lawmakers strongly oppose this third stimulus package. They have argued that it was too expensive and unnecessary. But Democratic lawmakers have been pushing for this $1.9 trillion economic relief plan for months. Well, more and more Americans are receiving vaccines, and it seems like the United States could be back to some level of normalcy this summer. But some economists have warned that the third stimulus package price tag was too big and could lead to inflation. However, Democrats were quick to disagree, pointing at the number of small businesses shuttered during the pandemic restrictions and the millions of Americans who are still out of work. It is now up to the House of Representatives to vote and pass a $1.9 trillion bill to President Biden's desk. Democrats in the House will have to review the changes that the Senate Democrats made to the bill. But House Democrats will have to stomach what Senate Democrats sent them if they want to pass something into law. Republican lawmakers are now criticizing Democratic lawmakers, add, adding that the budget reconciliation process and bill were both too partisan. Republican Senator John Thune of South Dakota shared his thoughts on the bill after the vote. He stated, I think it is very strong message that this was, as we suggested all along, a very partisan process and a product that re reflects a rushed, hurried attempt to try to get $2 trillion out of the door to satisfy one of the president's campaign promises. After the vote, Democrat Senator Sherrod Brown of Ohio told CNN, Most Americans won't care that it took dramatic negotiations and an all-nighter for Democrats to turn back Republicans' amendments and get the bill passed. This is a bipartisan package by any measurement because the public overwhelmingly both parties wanted it. The public cares about what we did, what these checks will mean, what it will mean to schools, what it will mean to health care, he said, writing off elements of the bill. Democrats will now try to make sure that these voters know that they accomplished something despite the Republican opposition. All right, that is the end of the video for this morning. I really hope you found this video very helpful. Please make sure to enter the $50 Amazon gift card giveaway, which is scheduled for this coming Friday evening. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment below. Thank you and have a very blessed day.